Every second, it burns through 600 million tons of the hydrogen fuel in its core. At that rate, the hydrogen will run out in about 7 billion years. As the hydrogen gets used up, it slows down the fusion at the star's core. This gives gravity the edge. With less fusion pushing outward, gravity crushes the star in on itself. But fusion fights back, heating the star's outer layers. When you heat up a gas, it expands. And so the sun will actually expand up. Instead of being a million miles across like it is now, it'll swell up until it's about 100 million miles across. Our sun will become a red giant. Imagine a sunrise, 7 billion AD. It's not just a little yellow disc coming up all cheerful and nice. What you would see is a huge, swollen, bloated red disc slowly reaching up over the horizon. And when the sun is fully up in the sky, it's blasting down heat on the Earth. It would be like sticking your head in an oven set to broil. Temperatures here on Earth will reach thousands of degrees. The oceans will boil, the mountains will melt, and we'll have the last nice day on the planet Earth. Then the bloated star will engulf the Earth. But the giant red star is self-destructing. Its core becomes dangerously unstable. With no hydrogen left to fuel it, the star begins burning helium and fusing it into carbon. The star is now destroying itself from the inside out, blasting violent surges of energy from its core to its surface. These energy waves blow away the star's outer layers. Slowly, it disintegrates. The star is dead. All that remains is an intensely hot, dense core. The red giant has become a white dwarf. By the time a star reaches the white dwarf stage, the fusion process has stopped the engine has finally come to rest. Our sun will end its life as a white dwarf, no larger than the Earth, but a million times denser. A white dwarf is a pretty amazing object. It's incredibly dense. If you could take a sugar cube-sized chunk of, of white dwarf and put it on the surface of the Earth, it would be so dense it would fall right through the ground. At the heart of a white dwarf, astronomers believe there's a giant crystal of pure carbon. A cosmic diamond thousands of miles across. The idea that the sun will become this sort of cool, dark lump of cinder material is kind of sad. But that really will be sort of a trillion, trillion, trillion carat diamond. Think of that, a diamond in the sky. But stars can create something much more precious than a massive diamond. When stars much bigger than our sun die, their death is much more violent. But in dying, they create the building blocks of life.